my name is Austin Gladera, and in this video, we're going to program the destination weather station to blink the LED. To begin, we're going to begin by opening up Arduino IDE, and we're going to immediately save the file to somewhere on our computer. In this case, I'm going to choose my desktop, and I'm going to name the file blink. And the first thing we're going to do in the code is we're going to tell the Arduino where we want where the LED is located on the weather station. To do this, we're going to type in hashtag define. And then we're going to follow that by the name that we want to call our LED. In this case, I'm just going to use LED. And since the LED is connected to pin zero, we are going to type in a zero right here. The next thing we're going to do is we need to tell the Arduino if the LED is either an input or an output. The LED is an output, so to tell the Arduino this, we're going to use pin mode. And then in parentheses, we're going to use the name of the LED, which in this case is LED. And we're going to type in all caps output. And then in void loop, what we're going to do is we're going to tell the Arduino to blink twice with 100 milliseconds in between each blink. And then we're going to tell it to remain off for half a second. This will give the appearance that the LED is blinking twice quickly in a row, and then followed by half a second of the LED turned off. To do this, we're going to type in digital right, and then using the variable name for the LED, which is LED, and we're going to tell it hide. And this basically means that the Arduino is telling the LED to turn on. Then we're going to add a delay of 100 milliseconds. And then we're going to use digital write again to turn off the LED. And to do this, we're going to, instead of high, we're going to use low. And then we're just going to repeat this one more time so that the LED blinks twice. And then we're going to follow this with follow this with another delay, and we're going to make this 500 milliseconds. Next, what we can do is we can go up here and click Save and verify our sketch to make sure that everything can compile correctly. As you can see that the sketch has finished compiling, and now we can go up to Tools and make sure that the Arduino shell is selected for the board, and that we have a COM port selected. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to upload the sketch by clicking this blue arrow right here. And this will take a few seconds. Again, the file manager will open, and it will automatically close by itself. As you can see, your destination weather station's LED is now blinking twice. In the next video, we'll be doing an example sketch for the OLED display on your weather station. To find out more about the destination weather station and the curriculum created, visit our website or GitHub repositories found in the description.